Hey everyone, welcome to another Airbrush Asylum pre-live video. Today I'm going to show you the completion of the Walking Dead uh, Suzuki Boulevard tank. So the zombie, it's all completed and it's ready to go to my painter, which I'll be doing today. Um, we also got another shipment from Airshot Stencils. They've sent us another lot of templates to have a play around with. These are a little bit different, so we'll get into um, that as well. We may, actually, we might do that first. How about we do that first? All right, cool. So let me just spin this camera around. Uh, templates that they've sent us. This is pretty cool. We've got like a little texture template there. So um, Airshot are just experimenting with a clear um, film. So they want us to test it and to see how that holds up. So I'll have to test to see if it's solvent proof or not. Um, and um, yeah, just see how it works. Um, it looks like the laser is cutting reasonably well, but it's a little bit bumpy in some spots. So um, I might give them that feedback as well. But overall, um, the designs look pretty cool. So we'll have to give them a go. There's a lot of negative and positives. So it's some sort of demon bat thing there, which is pretty cool. So just play around with it and see what we can make of that. So we may turn that into a video as well. We'll just see how we go. Um, I think there's one other template, which is another stack of skulls uh, that we've got to do some filming with. So we'll get onto that one ASAP as well. So let's just go over to the tank here. So this is the Suzuki Boulevard with the Walking Dead artwork. So this is all done with Trident water-based paints. Um, and I've put a SG100 Intercoat Clear over the top to seal the, seal the artwork before I take it to my painter, who will then two-pack clear it. Um, the base color is just a candy burgundy. So um, basically the burgundy will shine back through once it's been two-pack cleared. So at the moment, you can see that's been sanded, um, wet sanded so that the uh, artwork can stick and it's got some nice adhesion there. So that's one side and we'll go to the other side. So you can see again, tried to mirror it as much as possible. So it's all done freehand except uh, to do what I did was I freehanded the zombie then once that was pretty much complete, I masked around the entire edge with um, some sign mask vinyl, which is like a, you get it from your sign supply shop. Um, so I just tested a, a brand called Metamark Sign Mask Blue. If you're in Australia, that's available from Connect Enterprises in Carrum Downs, so pretty close to us. Um, but yeah, so all freehand, numerous different layers and texturing techniques. I use some texture templates as well as freehand techniques. And then just masked the outside, sprayed the background, and then uh, came in with my final thinned out black to soften the edge a little bit. But um, customer loves it, so that's good. She's happy with it. So can't wait to get this all clear coated. It's going to definitely jump and you'll get that candy depth coming through. So might even show you a, another shot when it's all cleared. All right, let me just spin the camera back around. So just a short one today, I just wanted to show you the completion of the Walking Dead, Har uh, not Harley tank, Boulevard tank, and the Airshot templates. Um, I have filmed the Walking Dead um, Boulevard, so It'll take a while though, it was quite a lot of footage because it was a lot of texturing. It took a lot longer than what I expected for those murals, um, but that will be released on our channel at some stage soon. If this is your first time to the channel, we'd love to have you as part of our community. Um, we aim to help inspire you to create some more amazing artwork, so feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon, and that will notify you every time we upload new content. So until next time, thanks for joining us, and we will see you again very soon. Go and grab that airbrush and get into some artwork. Take it easy. Bye for now.